has got a review for one that I've been looking forward to big time, especially since director Sofia Coppola scored the Best Director Award at Cannes for her work on this one. It's The Beguiled. The movie is based on a novel of the same name, and it takes place during the Civil War at an all-girls boarding school in Virginia. Most of the students and teachers have taken off, but a small handful with nowhere else to go are still there, and that includes Nicole Kidman's character, the school head mistress, Martha Farnsworth, and a teacher named Edwina, played by Kirsten Dunst. One day, an injured Union Army corporal named John McBurney, played by Colin Farrell, winds up at their door, and they decide to take the risk to take him in and help him heal before sending him on his way. It's the humane thing to do, but one that sparks quite the response in a house full of ladies who haven't really spent all that much time with a man. One of the Beguiled's greatest assets is atmosphere. The school is remote, there are very few women tending to the sizable house, and all around them is violence and war. Coppola does a fantastic job setting up the monotony and isolation of their life there. So the place is essentially a powder keg with McBurney acting as the match. That's where a good deal of the tension and suspense comes from. But I was also surprised by how funny some of the moments are in this film. In addition to the sexual tension, McBurney's presence also sparks a whole bunch of social awkwardness. Everyone's walking around the house like they're acting normal, but it is so blatantly obvious that they're putting on a show for him, and sometimes it's pretty damn funny. And Coppola actually manages to ensure that those moments fit really well with the more unnerving parts of the film. And then, as you might expect, The Beguiled also marks another great, great collaboration between Coppola and Kirsten Dunst. There are other great performances in the film, but The Beguiled really showcases how expressive Kirsten Dunst can be while delivering some really subtle, natural work. And the same goes for Nicole Kidman, too. Martha is clearly a very rigid character when it comes to keeping the girls in the house in line, but then Kidman is also able to give you access to what's going on inside Martha's head. You know, the responsibility she feels to keep everyone safe, how McBurney's arrival affects her personally, and then how she processes it all as everything collides. For those reasons, Martha and Edwina are really interesting characters to track, and that makes the movie especially engaging. Sadly, though, the same isn't true for Elle Fanning's character, Alicia. She's one of the older students, has a serious attitude, and also has her eye on McBurney, too. That's pretty much the extent of the character, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Una Lawrence, however, brings a lot to her character, one of the youngest of the bunch. She's named Amy, and she's the one who first finds McBurney and strikes up a connection with him. And it's really interesting to see that one evolve over the course of the film. As for Colin Farrell, I found his performance just a little bit uneven, but what matters is he's got great chemistry with the cast across the board, and it's his character's relationship with all the different women in the house that's the core of the movie, so his character does wind up serving the overall experience pretty well. So clearly, there's a lot of good in The Beguiled, but I do have to warn you that this movie definitely isn't for everyone. It is very much about atmosphere and just existing with these women during a really tumultuous time in their lives and seeing how they react and adapt, and much more so than big, riveting plot points. But I'm giving The Beguiled three and a half Deweys out of five on the Dewey Decimovie scale because it's a really effective, all-consuming character study. It is beautifully shot and lit, and it's haunting. If that mixture sounds like something you'd like to check out, go see The Beguiled. Beguiled.